Yeah, they were popular in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s because there was literally nothing else to watch. Hi, it's me again, and the viewing figures for soap operas are falling through the floor. And I can't say I'm surprised. It's the lowest quality TV there, isn't it? It's stack them high, sell them cheap kind of way of going, isn't it? They make so many a week, they can't be well written and have impressive storylines because the writers don't have the time to get the job done, do they? And the actors aren't the best actors in the world, can I say that? I don't know, some of them are right. But yeah, there's so much more choice in the world now, I'm not surprised that soaps are failing. You know, look at some of the stuff that Netflix has put out, like, what was it, The Crown, Bridgerton, Stranger Things, huge, huge shows that cost millions an episode to make and are popular all around the world. Whereas EastEnders cost pennies to make, apart from the set they spent 80 million quid on. You know, and it's tanking, same as Coronation Street, same as Emmerdale, it's all through the floor because people are spoilt with choice now, aren't they? There's high quality stuff out there that you can watch whenever you want to watch it. Why should you start sitting down at seven o'clock on a Tuesday and stay there till nine or whatever it is watching your soaps like me mum used to do? Crazy lady, crazy lady. Let's have a look at this. With Neighbours now cancelled after four decades and Holby City shutting its doors following 23 years of medical mayhem, it seems no soap opera is safe from the axe. It still amazes me that Neighbours lasted that long. It amazes me it lasted that long. Viewing figures for Britain's biggest weekly dramas are in free fall in the face of stiff competition from streaming services and social media. EastEnders lost 37% of its viewers between 17 and 19, while Coronation Street suffered a 19% fall and Emmerdale 22%. Lorraine Hegacy, controller of BBC One from 2000 to 2005, said, Alarm bells are ringing for soaps. They only pull in two to three million viewers a night. And that's probably combined because there's some EastEnders episodes that are bordering on a million viewers now. Whereas back in the day, they, they had the highest rated TV show ever broadcast in the UK, the Den and Angie Christmas episode. More than half of the UK population sat down to watch that. Could you imagine something like that happening now? It's never gonna happen again, is it? There's too much choice. And when there's so much choice, the cream rises to the top, right? People go to the quality. They don't waste their time watching tat. And also because it's broadcast TV as well. And the kids aren't watching broadcast TV. They're not watching it. They're not interested. And many people are moving away from broadcast TV. Because once you switch to watching catch up and streaming, oh, it's hard to go back. I can't imagine, you know, as I said, waiting until Tuesday at nine or something for my favourite show to come on. I want to watch what I want to watch. Now, and I want to watch as many of them as I want. Yeah, and that's how it works. Like, the missus was obsessed by Bridgerton. You couldn't move her from the sofa behind the camera. You couldn't move her off the sofa when the new series of Bridgerton came out. And every night of the minute, we're watching Stranger Things. But we don't have to sit down and wait for 10 o'clock for it to start. We can watch it whenever we want. So we'll have our dinner. Bang, Stranger Things. That's how people want to watch TV now. And granted, yes, you can watch the soaps on catch up, of course you can, you watch anything on catch up nowadays, can't you? Even without a telly license, you can watch all the soaps, apart from, apart from EastEnders, obviously, but Emmerdale and Corrie and that, you can watch without a TV license, but people aren't. Because if you're gonna to go to the effort of streaming something, if you're gonna to go to the effort of opening an app and finding something to watch, why pick the cheap crap? Why not watch the better produced, better written stuff? Oh, there's a cracking graphic here, look. This is viewing figures for soaps have been in sharp decline. It's a good little graphic. So Coronation Street in 87, 26.7 million down to 4.9. Look at that, EastEnders, it's at 10% of what it was, 10%. Of course, Neighbours had the biggest decline. Now, look at that, 20 million in 1988 and 300,000 in 2022. Now, when I was a young teenager, Neighbours was the thing. If you turned up in school the next day and you didn't know what happened in Neighbours last night, you were a nobody, you were an outcast. Everybody watched Neighbours. What was the other one as well? Home and Away, wasn't it, to a lesser extent. It was what you had to watch, what you had to talk about. The kids aren't doing that anymore. Kids are streaming. They're talking about the latest YouTube videos from the big YouTubers, you know, the latest live streams, the latest TikToks, you know, and the latest shows on Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime. No one cares about broadcast TV anymore. It's dying. And investing huge amounts of money in it, like the BBC have with their 80 odd million quid set for EastEnders, is ridiculous. 
Yeah, um, Coronation Street also had a new set in the last couple of years, but it cost them 10 million, which is still a lot. It sounds more doable, doesn't it? But they're going to go, they're in decline, they're going to stay in decline. And um, I had a comment the other day, because I talk about EastEnders a bit on here. I talk about EastEnders a bit, and some of the storylines are so ridiculous. Um, someone said, oh, I'm just waiting for aliens to come on, that would be the most ridiculous thing. I could see if their numbers tank enough on EastEnders, them having an alien invasion one day. I can see it. Tell me you can't see it. So are you an ex-soapaholic? Let me know if you're someone who used to watch soaps obsessively and don't anymore. Say, my mum, well, she used to pay her TV lines, so every night, you couldn't ring her between seven and nine because she's watching the blooming soap. She phoned her up, mum, I need to talk about something important. Yeah, ring me back after nine. Having a laugh, mum. She's not so much like that anymore. She still watches a couple of ITV ones, but she doesn't pay her licence fee anymore, so um, she can't watch EastEnders, which is the worst one of the lot, the most depressing TV show ever made, isn't it? But let me know what you think about soaps and about this video and everything down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps the channel to grow, and we're reaching loads of new people to talk about the BBC and stuff, aren't we? So thank you for that, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, when I? Thinking of other videos. Ta-da.